Hey Life Path number 9, welcome and welcome back to Natural Tarot. These are my natural nails and this is Tarot. We're going to jump right into your reading as I have been doing for all the other readings because it's been so long. Thank you Spirit for being a guardian, a guide, a protector, a teacher, for knowing all, for seeing all. Thank you angels for always being around me, guiding me, loving me, supporting me, protecting me. I greatly appreciate it. I ask that you bring Life Path number 9's energy completely into this reading. So that I can convey the message as clearly as possible. Thank you in advance, Spirit. I really want to open my blinds, but that sun was tearing my phone up, y'all. It's beautiful outside. All right. Let's see. What's in your current energy? We have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Cups. The Four of Wands and the Three of Swords. It's like you are, um, you really, really want companionship. Now, this could be somebody, this doesn't have. This is not somebody new because we have this three of swords here, which speaks to it being some sort of heartbreak or betrayal in the past. It, it could be the fact that now if, if you don't have a person that you're going through something with or have been through something with recently and um, you are pursuing something new. You're pursuing something new because uh, you don't want to experience the betrayal and the heartbreak of the past. Like you want to move on from that. You want companionship, um, but you have experienced some form of heartbreak or betrayal in the past. But it really looks like somebody that you already know. Um, you want companionship. You don't want to feel this hurt anymore. All right, let's see what your blockages are. Number nine. I just want love. That's what I'm hearing for you. I just want, I just want love. What are the blockages for number nine? We have destiny, the will of fortune. We have the waiting game, the two of wands. Rest and rejuvenate, the four of swords. So basically spirit is telling you it's not time yet, number nine. So whether it's somebody old, not old, like, you know, old age, but um, someone that you've already been in a relationship with that you still want to pursue or whether it's companionship itself, like wanting to start something new. Um, for those of you who is somebody that you've already been in a relationship with, if you believe that this is your soulmate, it's just not time yet. It's not time yet. Um and for those of you who are pursuing something new, you still have healing to do from past relationships. This could also be for the person who is pursuing companionship with somebody that they were already with. This could also be you had you carried things from past relationships into this relationship, which is why it's not time yet. Things are happening in divine time, but there are changes that have to take place in order for companionship to come into your life or this balance, this balance that you're seeking when it comes to the way you give love and the way you receive it. There needs to be a balance between this is like stepping outside of the person that you're pursuing or companionship itself. There needs to be a balance in the way you give love and the way you receive it. Some areas you may be giving too much. Some, some, for some of you, you're not giving enough. 
take it how it resonates so some of you are given to have may have been given too much some of you may not have given enough because of like it could be fear or because of uh whatever has been attached to you from the past something is attached to you from the past which is why it's not time for this union to come together there are things inside of you alone that have to come together that needs to be healed okay let's let's dig into your blockages All right, we understand that there's a weight that needs to take place and that change is happening and it's happening at divine time. So we're going to touch on rest and rejuvenate the four of swords. And you see how the four of swords is in your blockages on top of the three of swords. There needs to be healing. Why is the four of swords here? The page of cups. And death. Okay, there's a, the way you've been pursuing companionship, there's an immaturity in it. It's been from a very passionate space versus soul-led or intuition. It's been from a very, very passionate space. It doesn't just mean like sex, like you've just been pursuing it um, because of sex but passion it's been from a very passionate space like oh i just like this person so much or oh i want love so bad that um i'm gonna make this person my person there's some things from your past that you've been carrying into relationships that need to to die out that need to transform that need to be let go of in order to bring this balance into nurturing all areas of your life Okay, what's the focus for number nine, spirit? We have foundation and achievements, which is what you want, which is what you, you're going towards. It's in your current energy, so it's showing up in your focus. Um, but you may have you you keep trying to build this foundation from pain or from heartbreak. You haven't released the, the pain and the betrayal and the heartbreak of the past relationships. And you, you keep trying to rebuild. Um, but there's you're, you're trying to rebuild without the healing. The healing has to take place in order for you to build this new, this new foundation. We have fertility, the empress. Okay, the focus is healing. The focus is birthing something new. Birthing something new. Look at how this page of cups is looking at this empress. It's time to birth something new. It's time to mature your lens. It's time to be soul led to companionship what else for energy coming i mean focus for number nine trapped in fear we have the eight of swords you've been afraid to do things different you've been afraid to let go of your ways you're going to have to drop that fear of um letting go of the of completely, so even when that person I was speaking to, where you, you feel like the, uh, there's a specific person you're supposed to be with and it's not working out right now, you're going to let have to let the relationship as a whole go so that you can heal yourself and focus on self. And like I said, like I always say, if you believe that this is your soulmate in this lifetime, your life partner, it will come back around. But there are things that have to be let go of in order for it to work as beautifully as spirit wants it to work. And you're scared to let go because you don't want to miss out. Like you don't want to miss the opportunity. You don't want you're scared to let to let go. Look, suffering in silence, the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. 
hope, the star. You're scared of the newness that will come in. What if it's not so great? What if it's not better than, than it got to be better than what it is now, number nine? It can't, you know, like if you change the way that you are doing things, it got to be better than what it is now. It can't stay the same. If you're changing for the greater good, it has to get better. It's going to feel like it's not getting better, but it has to get better. Because what it is now is a result of um, the way you have been pursuing it. Let's, let's tap into this fear. First, first, okay, let's tap into this fear. The Four of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles. You're scared of the, if if I go this route, is it, it's going to take too long or um, it's not going to feel good. And it may not, because it may not feel good because it's going to be so different from what you're used to. But what you're feeling right now doesn't feel good. This is this is not going to feel good feeling. It's only going to be temporary because you are going towards what's really best for you. You're scared of the time that it's going to take. Anything that is that happens very quickly tends to not last long. Now not to say that hasn't happened ever where something happened quickly and um it ended up being a great thing and it lasted for a very long time not to say that never happened but it's very rare things that you put your time your dedication into your highest level of effort there's longevity in it look we have the devil at the bottom of the deck Paying attention to time and how long something is going to take. And um, I'm not going to like how it feels. That's, an, that's a deeply rooted attachment. It's an illusion also. It's an illusion. It stems from some form of inner conflict having to do with choices in love. Not choices in love, but choices and love. Both. Choices in love and choices and love. <laughs> it stems from, from that. Like moving in, in love. Like if I do this, they'll love me. And that's just, that's not the, the route that spirit is wanting you to go. All right, energy coming towards you, number nine. Solar plexus chakra. Discontent and boredom, the four of cups. Solar plexus chakra, keywords, I can. Victory and success. The Six of Wands. So the energy coming towards you, having the strength, having the, the confidence to do this, to say yes to this, to say yes to the journey of being patient with yourself and healing yourself. This is what's coming towards you now. It's not going to feel great. Is what spirit is saying. Um, and that's only in the beginning. It's not going to feel great. And it's not going to seem like it's great. But it's going to be the, the winning choice. The winning decision to make. You have to step in. The confidence is coming towards you. You'll be embodying the confidence. And in those times of this doesn't feel good. I don't like the way this feels. Or it's taking too long. You know all those Things that you feel are adversities. You have to be confident in, in the fact that it's what spirit wants you to do. That was in what that is what's best for you. It's the winning decision. 
let's let's tap into this uh discontent and boredom okay i do want to touch on this solar plexus chakra too but discontent and boredom your emotions you're gonna have to be able to control your emotions um you're gonna have to remind yourself that i am safe in this especially if what's happening is not what was happening before or that betrayal keep in mind that during this healing journey that betrayal is ending you don't want to betray yourself by seeing illusions or continuing to do the same thing that you've done or pursuing relationships uh, the same way you've pursued it so you'll have to control your emotions and understand that you are safe you are you're safe discipline King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Discipline. Assertiveness. To build something. To grow something. To build legacy. Solar plexus chakra. Why is it here? The Six of Pentacles. Allow this fairness to come in. You may be you may have been feeling like the relationships you've involved yourself in haven't been fair and remember i said that you may have been given too much you may not have been given enough allow this fairness to come into your life number nine that's what spirit is trying to bring in a, a fairness a sense of fairness whether it be on your end their end allow this to come in you deserve it your confidence will show you that you deserve to be treated fairly. You deserve to treat yourself fairly. You deserve to not have to give more. You deserve for the, the others of you who didn't give enough. You deserve to give love in its purest form. Okay, let's see. What advice? The spirit have for number nine. Letting go is at the bottom of the deck. inner power give me the courage and the power to do what must be done no more fear number nine no no more being scared of if i start making decisions differently um is it going to work is it going to you know pan out it is this is why you're feeling what you're feeling because it's time to to switch it up it's time to make different decisions clearing as true offering arises it becomes easy to let go you start to trust that more will always arrive you shift from my my mind to god's 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 such freedom okay it's time to clear your energy from all that past stuff if you are trying to build relationships not even just significant others but um if you are trying to build new types of relationships you must let go of all the pain of the past all the betrayal in the past relationships allowing radical acceptance says yes to reality in any in any given moment so what's needed can come next so saying yes to this is not um is not going to have you laid out on the ground you know like saying yes to this is actually what spirit wants you to do it's going to change what you've been experiencing it's going to change your experience because clearly you know like with this three of swords you're not happy in in the experience you've been having um specifically in love so saying yes to this is going to change your experience it's going to feel different from what you've done or been through or you know the way you've been seeing things is going to feel different but it's supposed to it's supposed to what major arcana do we have for life path number nine spirit a lot came out but we're going to take them all we're going to take them all okay we have the high priestess the hermit 
the sun, the devil, and the fool. Intuition, soul searching, enlightenment, attachments, releasing it. Faith, at the end of it all, faith. Having faith that connecting to your intuition and doing this soul searching, um, spending some time alone, asking yourself the hardest of questions. Why have I gone through this? Why have I done this? Why have, have I perceived things this way? Digging deep for enlightenment. Enlighten yourself to release these attachments, the things that have been attached to you, these past relationships, this, this, this past betrayal that you've been taken into moving in your life with. And like I said, not just significant others, but just period. It's time to really let go of the betrayal that you've been holding on to all right number nine that is all that i have for your reading and until next time come again